What's wrong? The tank is clean. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> oh. Molly, that tire or this? I think you can do the small stuff on your own. Guys, one of our favorite partners, iFixit, is back and they're having a holiday sale. If you don't know what iFixit is, if you haven't watched our last Fix It February, iFixit is a company who's fighting for your right to repair. So all of us DIYers, makers, people who want to be able to repair the things that they have, that is constantly being challenged and iFixit is the company leading the way in fighting that charge. And one of the ways they fund that is by these awesome repair kits. This happens to be ProTech Bundle. This comes with this, first of all, awesome set of precision drivers. It comes with all the really pesky security bits and things to get into all of your electronics that, you know, they try to make it impossible to get into because they don't want you to be able to fix it. It also comes with a bunch of handy tools that allow you to do a lot of tech-related fixes. iFixit also sells, besides these bundles, repair kits so that you can, say, fix your iPhone screen or other simple tasks. But really, iFixit is about your right to repair, which is why we love them so much and is why we support any time we possibly can. We absolutely love this company. So you guys have until December 14th to get 20% off any one of their bundles, as well as if you spend $65, you're gonna get free shipping. But here is my words of advice. If you're trying to get a young person or an old person in your life interested in making stuff, this is the way I got into it. My mom gave me a simple kit, something along these lines, and she also paired that with some form of old electronics out of the closet or from a thrift store, and basically just let me sit down and take it apart. Little did she know this is what would lead to us doing this years and years later. It's what built the passion I have for making things, trying to understand the way things work, and it was such an inexpensive way for her to keep me entertained. So if you are looking for a way to get young ones in your life interested in being in the shop with you, I highly recommend trying to pick up a kit like this and some old electronics and just letting them go to town. Let them take it apart, see if they can put it back together, but just don't give them instructions, just let them go. So, thank you very much iFixit for partnering with us on this video. I absolutely love you guys, and uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Woodbrew video. This is my lovely wife, Molly. She's usually behind the camera, but in today's video, she's actually gonna be learning how to use the tractor. And taking over this video. We've heard in the comments you guys wanting to see more of Molly, so, here she is. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are brand new to the channel, Molly and I have had a custom woodworking business for the last like six or so years. And we started doing YouTube full time not long after that. So we've been doing this for quite a while. We have quite a lot of videos. So if you're interested in this, be sure to check out some of our other stuff. And we promise you'll be seeing more of Molly in these videos. Barely even made it to the intro and she's already got an animal on her hands. This is Leo. This is, uh, this is our kind of adopted, just showed up at our front door cat. He likes the outside better than the inside. Yeah, he does. So, uh... He just showed up one day and we just kind of kept him. Is that how, like, everybody gets a cat or do people actually, like, adopt them? I think for most people, they just sort of, uh, they just find their way in. <laughs> anyway, he's a good kitty. He's only mean sometimes and he eats a lot of critters. But, first things first, let me introduce you to the tractor because many of you ask what tractor we have. This is a Kubota L2501, meaning it is a 25 horsepower tractor. It is in the compact sort of line of tractors. The loader arms have a max lift capacity of about 1,200-ish pounds. And so it's a fairly versatile, fairly affordable tractor. And it's the one we decided to go with. And we've paired it today with this Woodland Mills uh, PTO-driven stump grinder. We had a video come out uh, not that long ago, a few days ago actually, kind of talking a little bit about the stump grinder and using it. And uh, yeah, been pretty happy with it. So Molly, why do you want to learn how to use a tractor? Here's I mean, the like... thing. We have five acres here that we haven't even touched about clearing it up or making it look pretty because it's a mess right now. So anyway, I have to learn sooner or later. Mm-hmm. Molly actually cuts the grass and uh, she refuses to let me cut the grass so I've sort of uh, 
you've done all the tractor work, you, you know. You can't put me on something that looks like and feels like a go-kart and let me let so you So what it. are you saying is, is that once I teach you, then I'm not going to get to use the tractor anymore I'm not either. saying that. Are you I sure? like things that go fast. Okay, go okay. All right. But all right. we'll see. <laughs> so, well, first things first. All right. We need to check the tractor. So I'm going to take you around show you some of the things that we need to do. We need to actually look the tractor over before we start it up. We do that every single time so that we don't uh, damage this uh, large investment of ours. It's raining. Well, you know what? Sometimes tractor work happens in the rain. So uh, put your raincoat on and let's keep going. <laughs> We're going to need these. For what? It's going to get a little messy. So go ahead, put those on. <laughs> Step one, check the oil, which is this dipstick right there. So I have to just pull that out. This? This thing. Yep. It's pretty hard to pull out. There you go. Wipe it off. Wipe it? Yep. Wipe all the oil off. Do it again? Yep. Stick it in there. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but hold on. Stick it all the way in. I did. Yep. Wait a second. Now pull it off. Now hold it and we're good. See how it's up to this line? That's our full line. Good to go. Always check that. Oh. That's the most important thing to check. Oh, okay. Another thing that you can check, you don't have to check every single time, it's less important, but is the coolant. So I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna pull this lever right here. This? Yep, pull it out. And then that lets this thing you come to hold it out? Yep. Oh. Uh, that does that. And then if you come over here, pull this little tab down there. See that little pull? That round thing? Yeah. Pull it. I'm fancy. <laughs> this guy right here is your coolant. So you want to look at the level, make sure it's Not acceptable. Low. So yeah, we're in between low and full. So I could add a little, but it's good for today. There is one more fluid we need to check, and that is the hydraulic fluid, which is right down here. So if you look where that leaf is, you can pull that leaf out, it's kind of in your way. This? Yep. And then you bend down. You see that little ball in there? The white thing? The white thing. You see how there's fluid in the window? No. See the fluid sitting in the middle? There's a line going across the middle? Okay. That's fluid. <laughs> That's your hydraulic fluid. So if you look right... Oh, let's see if this thing will focus. See that right there? So that line across there is the fluid level. You want it to be in that window. It needs to be at least in the window. See the yellow? Uh, okay, okay, so the line moves up and down. Yeah, it can, but this just means that there's fluid that high. Okay. So you want it to at least be in the white. If okay. you don't ever see flu if you don't see any fluid in this window, it needs hydraulic fluid. Okay. I got my boots on and everything. What's wrong? <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> it's not gonna melt. I can't think when it's raining. You can't think no. when it's raining. Goodness, look at what you did. Pause. They don't want you, they don't. The oh tractor my. gods do not want you on a tractor. Apparently not. It wasn't even supposed to rain. It I was sun shining when we. Okay, let's wait five minutes. <laughs> The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and the tank is clean. No. <laughs> the what? The tank is clean. <laughs> Finding Nemo. What? From Finding Nemo. I thought you were talking about you just took a poop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? The sun is shining. I don't know what he says but next. And then the tank is clean. He's like, <gasps> the tank is clean. What do you have there? Um, a grease gun? Yes. Okay, but first let's get it started because it's really important to have the tractor warm before you use it. So now's a good time to start it up and let it be warming up while you start so greasing set, stuff. Set this down. Yep. Right here. Mm -hmm. We don't have to pretend. I've started this thing up before. <laughs> so clutch, key, you got it. 
Little does she know, this is uh, what? nothing, nothing. This is not a fun, not a fun part of tractor work. All right, so let's let's get the greasing. Well, the tractor is now greased up and I must say Molly you did a pretty good job that is not a very fun Gross. thing to do it's also very finicky so I think you did pretty good for your first time I think you can also appreciate my uh, desires for an electric grease gun now yeah I'll let you get one because that <laughs> I don't want to do that again <laughs> <laughs> okay and so I know you had some ideas of some uh, some stumps you want to grind in the backyard using the tractor, but uh, kind of had some some other ideas. It's something we might could do if you're down for it. We have this tree right over here, this dead tree. How about uh, we break out the chainsaw, do a little bit of uh, tree cutting, grapple work, clean up, and then you grind the stump so you get to do the whole thing. Except cut the tree. Whoa! No, 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 no. Yeah, no, I think no, no, no. we might could we might could work something in there. <laughs> I haven't put this stuff on in a while. I think you just suggested this because you wanted to cut down a tree. <laughs> Maybe. This tree is actually super dead, but I think it's strong enough for me to uh, shimmy up here just a little ways. Let's see if I can remember how to do this, eh? Like it was. Oh man, this thing's already loose. I hate it when that happens. There we go. Definitely wrong about the rope. Uh. And we're back. Except for now we have some uh, extra protection. It's actually pretty solid down here. Yeah, just uh, looking at this limb, I don't really know if I want to get out there on that one. That looks pretty sketchy. Maybe this one ought to be from the ground. It's going to be a lot of tree to pull that way though. Probably, but it's going to tear that tree up. Yeah, there's just too much going on right here. It's a lot of rot, there's a lot of movement, and there's a big hole below me. My concern is, is that if anything catches up, I really need to cut it from here. My concern is if anything catches up here and it puts any backwards pressure on this tree that I could just blow out the bottom, which has got a giant hole in it and that's the part I'm sitting on. So uh, 
you know, could uh, take me out with it. I think I'm going to uh, revisit this tree with a plan to pull it over there in that direction. But uh, that's a, for another day because I think we're going to need a bit more than just the tractor. We're going to need some other stuff. Oh, all right, well, I'm coming down. All right, you win. <laughs> Back to tractor work. All right, you got your ears, your eyes? Got my ears. See, what had happened was, is we got the stump done. Looks good. Now it rained really hard, so now the dirt has settled, right? Yep. Is that what I would say? And now we can see some roots that we missed, so that's what I'm gonna do. Like uh, this big boy right here. Yep. It's hard to see on camera, but there's a huge root right through here. And another one here. here. That, those. And these. That, that. All right, so. I want them all gone. So I can Nothing to it but to do it. Lawn mow. Hop on there. Start her back up. Yep. Bump up your RPMs a little bit. Go up. lined up like this with the root. So the root's right here. You need to be on this side of it. Remember? No, it has to be on this side of it. So when you're using this stump grinder, you need to be on the right hand side of the what you're grinding. Wait, hold on, sorry. You need to put the center, just put the center over it, it's right here. All right, turn it back down to idle. Now we're gonna turn on the PTO. We're gonna make the actual thing start spinning. So you have to use the clutch. That's your clutch over there. So press in the clutch all the way. You hear the engine? sort of mellow out, okay, you disengage the transmission. Okay, so now, yeah, this little leather lever here is what actually engages the PTO. Do I have to hold this down yep. the whole time? No, you hold it down until you flip the lever, oh. lever okay? So you're gonna flip the lever forward with that held down. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, now you're gonna ease off the clutch and it should start spinning. Yep, make sure it's all the way back. Now when you let the clutch off again, it shouldn't spin. See? So it's important that you know how to turn it off. If you ever get off the tractor with the PTO on, it's going to kill the engine. It's a safety feature. So if you even stand up off the seat, it's going to kill the engine. Once you do turn it on, you see this dial here your RPM gauge, and it says PTO, 540, it's 540, or 50, 540, and you want to get your RPMs to that, so you engage the PTO at idle, always, then once it's turning, you can slowly ramp it up, alright, give it a shot.
you're going to ease forward. Do I need to open anything? Nope. You can put your hand here. If it sounds real bad, like it's like bogging the engine down or anything like that, you can lift up, which is backwards. Always backwards. So just go slow and take it easy. Okay, now you can hear it stop cutting, so go ahead and raise it up. And what I want you to do is pull forward and then turn just a little bit so that you can come back just to the left hand side. So you've got your line here, now put your line on this line. A good tip is to put your right wheel on top of your right mound. Yep, just put your right wheel, Go. put your right wheel, nope, keep going forward, come on top of your mound. Center that back tire, Center that back tire on here, on the top of the mount. Okay, now come back. Nope, turn, turn this tire on that mound. No, 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 go forward. <laughs> Molly, that tire on this. Perfect, keep coming straight back. Go a little this way. 
What that does is it helps keep the tractor level. If you put your other tire in that rut, you're gonna be on sideways. Now we're gonna come back down to just the ground level and start over. So one of the things I wanna show you is you hear that rattling noise when you're when you're grinding, that doo -doo 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 -doo. that's because you're on a small root and that root's bouncing. So what you can do is come forward just a little bit, go forward, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I want you to plunge it down slowly, but all the way, not all the way to the end, not all the way to one, but to like the two or three. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, lift up. So what we've done is we've cut it off. So lift up a little bit, drive forward. Now I should be able to just pull this out. See, so this is what you were rattling against. So now it's gone. I think if you just get this last little piece here, you're going to be good. So I would come back a bit further and come through right here. That's good. Do it again. A little lower. All right. I think you've graduated. I think you can do the small stuff on your own. I know. If you want to try to do one of these other ones, yeah. Huh? Oh, nice. Look at you. Let me see, pull for it. Let me see if I can pull it out. Yeah, okay, so let's just get this little piece here. Yep. Down a bit. Down. Okay. All right. You got it. I'm good. Nice job. Your neck? Yeah, we need to get a backup camera. You think? It gets better after you use it once or twice because you start realizing you don't have to stay turned around all the time. Yeah. Um, you get a better feel for it. But you did pretty good because that's a, that's like a, a relatively more, I don't know if the word advanced works, but I guess advanced in implement. That are, there's a lot more to that than just, yeah. you know, starting it and going. There's uh, up and down and listening to the engine and all the things. So I think that's a pretty darn good start. Yeah. I mean, you've used the grapple once or twice. Yeah. That's fun. I know you want to get the grapple and just go play around now, but you got some cleanup work to do, which is also is good practice for the skills of being an operator because now comes the, the finesse, which is using the bucket to sort of uh, even this ground back out. You know, we got some deep spots through here. I'm gonna have to hop back up there. Using the bucket? Yeah, use the bucket. Kind of scrape it back flat. But uh, let's get these big things out of the way so we don't cover those up. You ready for bucket school? All right. Get turned around, buck it up. Yeah. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is tilt your bucket over so that the leading blade is down. Okay. Let it down to the ground. Tilt it forward a bit more. Yep. Okay, now you're going to feather it. So you, as you drive back, if you feel the tractor start to rise, then let 
let it up some, okay? If it feels too easy, let it down. Okay, keep going, keep trying it. Try to get the feel for just the right amount of feather. Okay, yeah, see how you've already flattened this? So now roll the bucket back flat. So roll it backwards. Yep, go down. Keep coming down. All right, now you need to feel the edge as you move forward. So you wanna get it on the ground edge down so tilt it down a bit yep now drive forward stop come down tilt it forward yeah now come forward okay see how that that you feel that pull in a bit more then tilt it even more and you'll see what i mean now go forward you, you feel that okay so yeah you're, you're perfect now see how it's biting a lot now it's starting to get we need, we need Tom. We need Tom so we can hear each other. Make it go too deep. Feel what that feels like so that you can start tapering it. And make it feel better. Now just keep doing that. Just play around with it. There's really nothing I can tell you that's going to make it. Yeah, just play around. You're not going to hurt anything. Well, Molly, I have to say, I'm very proud of you, sweetie. Thank you. you that know, was fun. You did very good. I tried real hard. You know, it's uh, there's a bit of a learning curve with a tractor, but for sure, I think uh, I think most people, as intimidating as they are, most people can operate a tractor. So, if you're thinking about like maybe renting a piece of equipment or doing something like that for your property or buying one, I encourage you because they're awesome and they're really not that difficult you know they're very intimidating but uh once you once you start getting the feel for them you can do a lot of a lot of neat stuff with them yeah and uh yeah let's just Molly. hope all the grass grows back in the spring yes but uh, there's a lot of dirt <laughs> i do think you did a great job today i think you know for one of the first times like really operating a tractor for more than just like helping me you know move something a few feet like i think you did a pretty dang good job. Thank I think you, you graduated you graduated the stump grinder and bucket school. So you're free. You got the, the stamp of approval oh to use gosh. a tractor for that. And then now we have to do, what else? Box blade. Uh, grapple. Grapple. And, ooh, a new tool. It's a new implement that's coming yes. very soon. It's going to help us actually clear the rest of the property. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to Molly for putting up with me throughout the day and uh, being in this video. She's usually behind the camera and I think she did great. Leave some comments down below. <laughs> no, giving I'll her be some up love. here more. I'll be up here more for sure. For sure? For sure. We're about to be real busy here shortly. Really? Yeah. Are you gonna be busy? We all are. Yeah? Yeah. Do you even do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Because it seems like the comment section just they just they just don't think you do anything. Let me tell you what. I do a lot. <laughs> Let's end the video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.